Hey, what's up everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Dragon City, and in this video, we're gonna talk about that orange flame. Yeah, that's right, what does it do? Here, right now, we're hatching the Prideful Vampire Dragon, and it's got one of those orange flames. Kinda looks like a quotation mark right over here, maybe a water drop. Well, that means that this is a skilled dragon. This dragon's gonna have some skills. And let me show you what that's all about. Here, if we go to our dragon book, we're gonna look at another dragon. Here, I have the Envious Vampire Dragon. And this is another dragon with skills. Now, there's a bunch of different skills that are out there. Here, when it comes to this dragon, we've got one of its attacks that is Leech Fang. Here, this move will steal life points from the opponent. So that's a special skill right there. Another special skill is No Survivors. It deals, uh, small damage is dealt to all opponents. So for like example here, the Envious Vampire Dragon, if I use No Survivors, it's gonna attack all the opponents and give them each a little bit of amount of damage. Beautiful. Let's go check out another dragon with some skills. Here, we're just gonna scroll a little bit and we're looking for that next dragon in the menu. Here, we're looking for the orange flame. And shouldn't be too long, we're getting closer right now. I'm looking for, I think, the Lancelot Dragon. Yes, there it is. So here, we've got the Lancelot Dragon. This is another dragon with skills. Here, if we go check out its moves, its attacks, here we've got a skilled attack called Foam. Foam has a chance to trigger a second turn. So not only can it attack once, but in the same turn, or in the same attack, it can do a second turn. So that's really cool there to get two hits in. Every different skill is gonna have some different, you know, specialties there. And here, if we go check out another dragon, here we've got the Bjorn dragon. Here, this dragon has some skills as well. Here. When it comes to the Bjorn Dragon, Rock Throw is its skilled attack. This move hits one to five times. Super cool there. So you can get up to five times a hit in just one attack. Now, there's a bunch of different skills out there and we're gonna go put some to action and then I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to get these dragons. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button for the like and make sure you subscribe to Toasty Gamer Boutique because I've got tons of tricks, tips, and strategies coming your way. So here, we're gonna go ahead and test out one of those moves to start off with. I'm gonna go to my arena battles here, and here we've got the Bjorn Dragon that's right there in the mix. That, uh, right now, I'm in the um, arena battles and I can't have any legendary or pure dragons, so that canceled out my envious vampire dragon. So our uh, Bjorn Dragon isn't quite as strong, but it's still gonna be epic for what we need to demonstrate here. Let's go. Here. We're going for our first battle, and I really want to test out that Bjorn Dragon. Now, I don't think it's necessarily going to be the strongest dragon of my collection, but hopefully it's going to be able to pull off some pretty cool skilled moves. Yeah! So here, this is going uh, relatively all right to start off with. Here, you know, the Nature Titan Dragon, that has a blue flame on it, this Titan Dragon over here. And what a blue flame means, we just saw it, it blocks the first move. So there's two different flames, we'll see the orange flame and the blue flame. The blue flame means Titan and it blocks the first move. Here, we're gonna go swap our dragons and we're gonna get the Bjorn Dragon. Yes, can't wait to test out Rock Throw. This move can do a thousand power and hits one to five times and hopefully we're gonna see it do some magic right here Ooh, i think we got at least three hits in there oh no but we just lost our dragon okay so i guess it wasn't that strong after all one thing I wanted to, de to demonstrate here that I didn't get the chance to demonstrate is that sometimes a skilled move, you have to wait a couple turns for it to come back. So here, let's say this next move here, that's gonna be a turn. So if I had to wait three turns, that would be one turn. This would be another turn, and we'd have to wait one more turn until I could use that skilled move again. Each skill is different, and it really depends on what the dragon's skill is. So good luck with these battles, and make sure you're having fun with it. You gotta do a little bit of experimenting to get a little bit more familiar with each move and each skill to really master them to their full potential. Yeah, so here this battle went super good. We got the victory and with that we got a couple of these badges over here Every time you win an arena battle you can get trophies You can get some instant rewards which are either food gold habitat tokens or who knows what and you can also get some badges 
here, those badges are going to go right up here. And this is one of the ways that you can get some of these skilled dragons. Here in the warrior's chest, you have some rewards that you can get. You've got the guaranteed rewards, which are primal tokens, super great for habitats. And you also can get four to seven rewards from the following list. Here we've got coyote orbs, and we've also got some skilled dragon orbs. There's the Praetorian dragon orbs that you can get here, and that's going to be a skilled dragon. Here you've got the orbs of the transmutation dragon, 20 of those skilled orbs there. Next up, we've got the timeless dragon, another skilled dragon over here. So you can tell by that orange flame that's right there on the dragon icon. Here we have the IC dragon, and this is another dragon with skills. Yeah! So this is one way to get those dragons. Here, We've got a couple other dragons. There's the Battler Dragon, the Inky Dragon, and the Praetorian Dragon. A bunch of these dragons over here. You're looking for that orange flame there, and that tells you if that dragon has some flames. So by obtaining Warrior Chest, that's a great way to get orbs so you can summon one of those dragons. Another way to get those skilled dragons is by the Arena Rewards. Here, each time you complete an arena, you get different rewards. Like, for example, the Bjorn Dragon, I got it from this arena over here. Here, we've got the Katsumoto Dragon over here, which was from another arena. Here, we have the Lancelot Dragon, which we saw earlier. Another skill dragon that we got as a reward from completing these arena battles. And each different element of the arena battles can give you a different reward. Like right now, I'm working on the Primal uh, the primal arena is here, and eventually we're going to be able to get this next dragon over here, the Shredder Dragon. This is a beautiful legend dragon, and it has some skills. Here, if we just go check out the Shredder Dragon real, uh, real quick in our dragon book over here, we're just going to type in, whoops, Shredder, and there it is. Here we've got the Shredder Dragon, and this is going to be a skill dragon that you can only get from the PvP arena. So. Keep on playing those arena battles, keep it going, and you've got this. Technically, there's a couple collections which also have some of the skilled dragons in. Here, the Corrupted Clan. Now, these were difficult to get. I didn't get any of these dragons, but here, all of the Corrupted Clan, uh, all, all, pardon me, all of the Corrupted Clan are skilled dragons. So these are going to be different dragons that have skills there. Super cool. Another collection that there is, is a collection that we already had a little bit of a sneak peek at. Here, if we scroll a little bit and we go to First Arena, we'll see that here we've got an entire collection of skilled dragons. These are dragons that you're going to get from completing those arenas that we were talking about. So here, there's the Bjorn dragon, the Katsumoto dragon, the Lancelot dragon, then there's the Fury Dragon right there, the Mighty Mantis Dragon. A little bit further, we've got the Frostling Dragon and the Iron Scales Dragon, the King Ragnar Dragon and the Emperor Dragon. Now, I haven't hatched all of those dragons yet. Here we can see that with that little box with the egg and the present in them, that means those eggs are in my storage. So that's super useful there. Here I've got those three dragons. They're in my storage right now. I just haven't had enough time to hatch them and I'm super excited to eventually add those to my collection. I believe that the Vampire Family is also another collection of dragons that have skills. So these are super cool dragons and they can be really powerful, but just because they have skilled moves doesn't mean necessarily that it's a strong dragon. For example, a heroic dragon can be stronger than a ordinary arena dragon. Like for example, here we've got the Bjorn dragon and technically it's just a common dragon. So of course a heroic dragon is gonna be stronger than the Bjorn dragon over here. And these are really cool dragons to have some fun with. Let's go ahead and do another battle and see if we can get a little bit more progress with these beautiful skilled dragons. Here we're gonna go ahead, change this up a little bit and I'm looking for another one of my dragons that has a skill and also doesn't have the two elements that we can't use for this various arena. I think that means we're going to be looking for maybe the Katsumoto dragon. Is that the one we're looking for here? Uh, bu -bu -bu. I did a lot of research before this video so I'd remember everything. Uh, no, not that one there. No, not quite yet either. Here we're just looking for an 
a dragon that has the skills. I don't think it's necessarily going to indicate it here, but I memorized the dragons that I have that have skills. So, bum, 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 let's see. There we go. Here, first one I see, we've got the Lancelot dragon. So that's a skill dragon. We can see the orange flame right there, and we're going to go for it. Hopefully, we're going to be able to pull off another victory. Let's go. Woo! Beautiful. So here, we're off to another battle. And this is off to an all right start. I'm going to use Primitive Ram. Here, my Milky Way Dragon. I know it's a pretty strong dragon, so I'm happy with that. And then next, do I dare? I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, we're doing it. We're going to swap these dragons. And here, our next move is going to be Foam. So here, this can do 900 damage and has a chance to trigger a second turn. Now, 900 damage, it's not going to be that much on this dragon. So here, I'm actually going to switch it back out here. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous. I just want to do a little bit more damage before we get that move going. And... Eh, I don't know why I'm hesitating. Okay, let's go ahead. We're using the Lancelot dragon. Sorry for the hesitation there. Foam, here we go. And, okay, well, it didn't get to do the second move, and, uh, we didn't stay alive long enough to know if we needed to wait a couple turns for that move to refresh. But, long story short, sometimes the skilled moves take a little bit of time to refresh. Anywho, let's just go ahead and cruise through this here and try to get that victory. Awesome. So here we've got a Titan Dragon. Here, there's that blue flame I was talking about earlier. Here, this dragon's going to block the first move. So whatever, you, it doesn't really matter what move you use because it's going to get blocked anyways. And here, I'm going to go with Ghostly Blades. Yeah, looking good. So that's not too shabby there. And now I think it's about time we swap our dragons. Don't want to uh, don't want to lose my Milky Way Dragon right there. And yeah, there we go. Perfect. So this is going super well here. Awesome, and that is looking epic. Yeah, we should be able to get the victory here. Buttes McGee, there we go. Awesome, so that went super well there. Victory, not too shabby. And here we've made a little bit of progress. Let's go ahead and mix it up one more time. Here, I'm going to go see if uh, we don't have the Katsumoto Dragon available. Yes, there it is. Okay, perfect. So here, this is the Katsumoto Dragon. And let's go ahead and test this one out. This is another one of my skilled dragons that we can use right now with the different arena rules. Let's go. Beautiful. So here, we're doing pretty good, not too shabby. And we're going to start off with the strong move. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so that went super well there. Here, I don't know how it's going to do, but we're going to try the Katsumoto Dragon and that skilled move. Here, ignition. Let's do it. And can we pause the battle real quick? Oh, okay, I couldn't pause it fast enough. Here, there's a pause button, but anyways, didn't click that fast enough. Um, and yeah, so unfortunately, we lost the Katsumoto Dragon. Honestly, it's not my strongest dragon, and all of the dragons that we saw, eh, they're not really my strongest dragons. The only one that has, like, a little bit of, uh, you know, strength is my Envious Vampire Dragon, which, unfortunately, we can't use because of the arena rules. It's got, I think it was the legend, uh... The legend element there. So here, we're just going to keep on cruising through this. And come on, big moves. Let's go. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So here, we just got another victory there. And that's looking fabulous. And we're really close to getting the warrior's chest here, which has a bunch of orbs with different dragons that have those skilled moves there. Hopefully, you've, you've learned something in this video. And I hope they brought a couple, a um, uh, little bit of clarity to the game here. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and strategies. If you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications when I release new videos. I've got a lot of stuff up my, my sleeve, including I'm working on a video where I'm going to be talking about the tokens. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video and have a beautiful day. Happy gaming, everybody, and have fun. Peace.